Hi guys, for today's tear down, this we have here some uh, flavor of uh, Soviet aircraft electronics box apparently high frequency related, maybe from a radar as we have a bunch of coax plugs plus one uh, regular connector here and four high frequency diodes at least so it is a weird shaped box as you can see several levels backside is a thick piece of die cast aluminium it weights maybe four kilos or something like this so first uh, about the model number it is written here on this plate type P-I-O-N in Cyrillic letters dash M so Pion M 1X568 is the serial number here we have uh, typically Russian fuse holder in a flower shape with a pi letter on it in Amberton material with a typically Russian little fuse holding a dead code it is in quite good condition this part so we have big coax inputs here and here an interesting label uh, about the diode holders apparently which are these things so you need a 14 mm key to undo them I will undo them all because it will help to remove the cover so here is what it looks like we have here for sure uh, spring loaded very tiny uh, golden and uh, beryllium insulator probably beryllium ceramics insulator diode So probably very high frequency diode to deal with uh, radar frequencies or something like this. So we have four of them. So I remember I did already one day take apart this thing. And in fact, it's, it is very, very complicated and tedious to take apart, as you will see. In particular, the high frequency piece. So let me undo, they are all the same here, not special. One more here. So whenever you deal with Soviet electronics, aircraft or grade or military, you will very probably need a 14 mm key. Usually it is uh, 40, 13 but uh, with Soviet electronics it is 14 and you cannot uh, do without it so I did remove these diodes now I can unscrew the cover it is just a matter of uh, finding a screwdriver first and then undoing four screws it will reveal the first part of the contents but in fact as you will see we are far from done of taking it apart and it will require a lot of uh, disassembly um, some disassembly required to try to find out what we have inside uh, and possibly some RF Vodou or maybe even microwave frequencies Vodou we will see so the cover should come off like this pretty straightforward so here is the first level of the contents 
in this the inside of the cover you can see it is made from a number of uh, aluminium plates welded together apparently but as you can see we have a bottom section here which is uh, very seriously uh, bolted together with interconnects here so this is an interesting stuff but it is complicated to access we have some rubber insulator here I can get off so first about uh, more insulator rubber about the electronics at this level we have not much in fact this circuit board here with dead bulb transistors diodes, capacitors, resistors, nothing special except this is an unusual package for a soviet diode this here I do not remember, I did see them previously. Uh, you can see a bridge rectifier here, it seems. Other PCB here with more dead bug transistors. You can see the wire harness which they did glue with some purple or brownish goop. Some wires go inside the compartments here. We have two little green paint coated transformers on the main plug and here there is actually this little bag which contains parts I was not able to reinstall when I did open it the first time and yeah you can see Teflon so we will see uh, where we are going this time uh, not sure about this plate here in fact uh, we have a number of screws keeping it in place so it looks like uh, if I want to be able to undo this thing uh, this plate here I will probably need to undo the circuit boards which is uh, terribly good news so first I will undo the rear cover this will be easy and we will see from there where we can go some hours of reassembly ahead you can see the number of screws let me pull the back piece screw at least there are at least seem not too many different models so I believe we will just find a big mechatech plate behind this metal plate it will be very fun to deal with big screw washers Okay, and as expected, we have one metal plate. Actually, it is a sandwich of two parts. I do not know how it will come apart. So let me undo some stuff, I believe. I must undo this uh, interconnect here first, anyway. I will show you one of each and I will 
fast forward for the others. It will be a lot of fun, guys. So this seems to be a interconnect between the two parts. Yes, just a little coax in fact, going from one to uh, the other one, okay. So about these plugs here, I believe, if I remember correctly, there is some kind of a clamp. holding in place the uh, external piece of the plug yes like so and here I am able to undo this undo this undo this uh, washer and maybe even pull here no, or turn, I am not sure. And uh, here about this uh, uh, taller connector, I believe it is the same. Undoing the four screws will uh, enable me to unplug it. Um, Yes, exactly. No problem. So, I will undo the other ones and I will be right back. Okay, so here is the amount of parts I did undo so far. Now, I think I, can, I will re-plug this connector to protect it. And I think I can undo the four main screws here which may uh, enable me to separate the two parts. Not sure if it will reveal anything or not yet about the contents. Uh, you know what? Before I do this, good idea maybe to keep track of how it was put together. Okay. And it is pretty unstable, as you can see. Very, very nice to work with. I will put this there, maybe. Okay. And this one. So, I believe I am able now to pull the two parts and reveal some stuff. Oh, maybe no. Hmm. It looks like uh, I have some extra screws to undo. Not sure which ones. Hmm. Not sure about these ones. Seems a little bit short, in fact, to be going to the other part. So maybe this one's. Mm. Same thing. Well, I will undo them anyway. Worst case scenario, it will be a terrible puzzle to put back together. It seems better, okay. Let's undo the other similar side. So here the screws are not too hard to undo because I did already deal with them back in the time, but the other side I did never undo the screws. 
you can see it very faint in fact okay so is it good ah, a little bit better now I have to be careful of what is happening I am pulling things apart okay so here is our first side with those uh, parts that I was not able to install you can see big teflon piece uh, other side here has not not much to show for now until I undo the top plate uh, which will be fun so here you can see my extra parts must come from this uh, section so we have a big uh, teflon thing and we have this stuff you can see coming from the coax making uh, weird shapes coming out here going in the other section or into a connector not sure anymore uh, then here same thing I'm going also into this parts here which may be some kind of uh, unknown thing probably some uh, dummy load I guess you can see there is a little screw in this allowing to undo it and I am not sure anymore of which position it was like this yes so it is why it is terribly tedious to uh, take apart and reinstall properly with all these little parts okay so how many I, do I have I have two more of them this one seems to be coming from here but not exactly so here maybe uh, not exactly also in fact each part here has its very own size it seems and you cannot uh, mismatch them interesting so I guess I was able to install one at least not too bad this one I do not see where it was maybe I am missing one at the bottom here somewhere let me check mm, not sure ok so here is what we have for this section at least probably two demi rods and um, high frequency components here which are totally weird as always this may act like uh, capacitors or something like this I do not know exactly and nobody knows it is black magic voodoo ok you can see yes it is coming back in place at least so for this it is good and now I will try to deal with this one so here apparently I have to deal with the screws of this cover ok this one is coming off at least so I will probe maybe a little bit which one are easy and which one are difficult I need to undo the PCBs because we have screws under the PCB which is totally a good idea but I did just notice actually we have two PCBs here there is another one at the bottom ok so 
Okay, so as you can see, second PCB under it, no screws. Oh, this is a terribly good idea, guys. Look how they did pad those workers. Really, really a good idea. It will be really easy to reinstall. Many thanks to the Soviet engineers. And here we have screws, now I can access them. This one is coming. So actually it is the first layer of metal, but I see this is not the cover I am going for. It is just another uh, metal piece to deal with. So one thing is sure, I will not reopen it anytime soon after this video if I manage to reinstall everything. Yes, okay, so I will do a little bit of disassembly and we'll be right back. Okay, progress report, this plate is loose, but you know what? Now I am very annoyed with those wires going to the transformers which are bolted from the inside. And anyways, considering this thing is never to be used again, uh, let's just cut the annoying wires because if not I will not be able to do anything more anyways so I have four of them in here and yes I have a Soviet made watch by Slava it is a quartz watch, but sometimes it stops randomly. Okay, it is much better. Now I can continue undoing the screws. Okay, we are one billion screws later, and one more terribly good design, in fact. I was getting stuck here with this connector, not possible to pull the cover. Actually, you have to unscrew it from the back, then you have to slide it on the left, and then you can pull it out. So, are you ready to see what we have inside this? Well, we have this. More screws. Nice. Other side, not much in fact, the no loose connector piece. And here, just a few uh, capacitors and inductors with a few wires. And nothing else except, uh, yes, all the tiny screws here actually to uh, secure this piece for the, with the threads for the diode holders. And this is uh, indeed, uh, I do not know even well which metal it is. Quite wear metal, obviously. It is not magnetic. So some kind of die cast something. Okay, so we are left with uh, here probably. More magic under the Teflon parts, which will be very hard to remove and to reinstall. Oops. Okay. Uh, I cannot explain what I am seeing now. I have no idea of what I am doing, but there are some. Oh, yes, they are just the contacts, in fact, for the diodes here. They come in contact like so. So, uh, to all these are all uh, connected to the same uh, wire here. If I can call this a wire, more Teflon isolating parts here. More of this annoying little uh, parts that will pop out. 
Okay, so at least no cocktails of uh, Teflon in this thing. And you have to follow the correct order of reassembly. If not, it will not work. Okay, I have a feeling I will have a lot of fun putting this back together. I should better prepare a few beers. Um, so, we are left in fact with these two modules which seem to be very similar so given the amount of screws I did already undo I believe I will just undo one of them if I can reinstall this uh, piece here which seems totally not possible to reinstall no so I will deal with it uh, later. Oh, we are, we are. So yes, I was saying. So these two modules look exactly the same. So I will only open one. But it looks like the Soviet engineers did not make it with a YouTube teardown video in mind because apparently the cover is welded. Um, so I am trying for now to undo the screws which is half of a success because three of them are stripped so I need to find something better you only see a small part of my bench but overall is covered with part of these things it is just a nightmare Let me find a matching screw head. It is too thick. Hmm, this one maybe. Oh, my first three bits older. We should be in this drawer, but it is not. It is just very nice. So I'm back without my bit holder but with a power tool. Did it work? In fact, I am doing this course, but I know the, the cover is soldered so. Okay, sometimes power tools can help pretty. So, of course, no change at all because the thing is soldered in place. What to do next? Do I have wood chisel? Not sure of course I have no wood chisel so I will take whatever I can excuse me for this Nothing beats an old screwdriver and a hammer. And I will try to hammer this thing out of the way. Oh. It looks like I may be lucky. One side did pop open. Second one, I am out of the frame. Uh, where to continue? Here maybe. I see a crack in the solder here.
try to pry it open and we are lucky and all that for this um, no comments uh, might be um, some uh, high frequency stuff happening capacitors, variable capacitors maybe uh, you have to check uh, Kaiser Power Electronics to uh, for similar stuff. The channel uh, shows uh, high frequency mobile phone equipment with uh, some weird uh, high frequency voodoo going on. Uh, here I do not know what we are exactly. We have a bunch of uh, silver coated tubes apparently with uh, some things you can adjust. So I will totally ruin the alignment of the thing by trying to undo one completely. But it is extremely difficult to turn, turn. so I will not go any further. Okay. So uh, as you can guess, I am left with one ton of screws to reinstall in order to try to put this thing back together so I will have uh, some fun with it and the same time the video will be rendering probably so I hope you did enjoy this uh, high frequency voodoo Soviet uh, thing which is uh, still not uh, identified for its use Uh, quite unusual, uh, very nice Teflon pieces, at least, it is all what I can say. Apart from this, I was expecting in fact more uh, more things in uh, these sections, more components, but no, all the magic is happening in these things. I was expecting hybrids or things like this, but no. Here at least we have a big hole, so maybe there is another model which was more complicated even with other stuff. We will never know anyways. So, I will now try to put all this back together. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.